Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to a really fun kind of speculation video. So I want to speculate about something with you guys and that's the fact that recently and I mean recently as in like a few hours ago, maybe even yeah like a few hours ago basically, some guru popcorn actually posted this on Twitter asking us to show her some happy things, to show them some happy things and you know to show them some like pictures of screenshots or anything like that and from the game and everything so someone actually posted sims in paradise posted this picture they said this and it's a picture of like a target info item thing that says the sims 4 expansion pack 9 country living so naturally sims community was on that so fast <laughs> and basically this is all speculation by the way you guys this is all speculation nothing has been confirmed by the sims team but this does look like a leak for the next sims 4 expansion pack so like joven says please note that this post contains no official information or confirmation from the sims team and is only based on online findings so this is all speculation I mean this video is all speculation as well but basically it says after a couple of cryptic hints from the sim gurus at the future cube about possible new content coming our way it seems there's another clue that ties it all up a leak from a target employee that's right an unknown source has published a product listing from target work phone listing the sims 4 country living as the ninth expansion pack for the sims 4. so screen via fc cow plant <laughs> I guess that's who, that's who posted it but yeah this basically is the target listing and the listing comes hand in hand with a leak that happened in September regarding horses and equestrian themed content possibly coming to the sims 4 although we can't confirm that this is a legit leak we can say that discover university leaked the same way just a couple of weeks before it was announced we'll definitely keep you updated so I will leave a link down below to this specific post on the sims community website and this is the post that they mentioned about horses so way back in uh, yeah september of last year this post was released and basically i won't read this whole thing for you guys but basically someone found some code in the game and back in january 2017 actually they found code in the game for cats and dogs and then obviously cats and dogs was i believe released in January in like 2017 later in that year but they also found code for horses and then after you know cats and dogs was released and all of that horses didn't come with the game but basically someone found this leaked code in the game files and the code references animations animation cues interactions and movements that haven't been present in the game code before so yeah there's also references the main references that mention animation cues between a sim and a horse so basically that is something that you guys can go and read i will leave this article linked down below as well from last year but basically what i want to talk about is the fact that discover university was obviously leaked in the exact same way and target had all of that <laughs> I, I can't exactly remember if it had everything correct but I know that the target leak that happened for Discover University had the correct name that so they leaked the correct name I think they leaked the correct like release date later on as well so I think they had that right but don't quote me on it I could be wrong but yeah, so basically Discover University leaked in exactly the same way from Target and I don't want to say that that confirms it because obviously it doesn't. That could be fake, that could be a fake post. No, don't take my word for it. The Sims team haven't said anything official, so this is all speculation. But honestly, it I'm not going to get my hopes up, but it looks likely that the next expansion could be Country Living and we are due for another expansion a few weeks maybe a month a little bit little bit more than a month maybe my time is like all messed up so i have no idea when what happened 
but a while back they released the six month like plan for the sims the six month roadmap and in that they told us that we'll be getting an expansion pack first then we'll be getting the stuff pack so that's the community voted stuff pack the knitting stuff pack nifty knitting as it's actually officially called now we'll be getting the nifty knitting stuff pack and then we'll be getting a game pack as well later on in the year so we are due for another expansion this is around the time that expansion packs usually release they usually release year around like june end of june when you know ea play usually happens at the beginning of june and they usually announce the stuff around then and they're actually going to be doing EA Play like live this year, so online. Because obviously the whole like convention was cancelled because of stuff that's going on. But yeah, they will be doing like a big live stream on the 11th of June at I think 4pm Pacific time. But yeah, they will be doing a like a big EA Play live stream. And I'm guessing that they'll announce the next stuff pack for The Sims 4 in that because that's how they usually do it. But yeah, so we are due for another expansion. It is about time, the, like the correct time to release it. And it looks like we'll be getting country living. Now, I'm not 100% I'm not sold on it. This is just going to be my thoughts about it. If you're like completely excited for country living and I don't even know if that's what it's called, but like for a farming type pack or horses or whatever, then you do you. That's like, that's what you're excited for. Everyone's going to be excited for different things. And honestly, I'm not 100% excited for a country living themed pack or a farming type pack. That's just not me. That's not really how I like to play the game. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of play out of it. I'll, pro I'll definitely check all of it out and play with it and everything. But it's not like high on my list of things that I want <laughs> for the game. But with that said, I haven't seen anything about it, so I'm not going to say, oh, this is going to be the worst pack ever and I absolutely hate it. Because I will probably end up loving it. I'm a sucker for Sims content and if the build buy mode is good, then I will probably, I can probably just say that I'll always end up loving a pack if the build buy mode content is good. Because that's the thing that I pay most attention to. But with that said, I don't know what style they would go for, for a country style. Obviously, they would go for something country and a little bit more traditional in that sense. And that's not really my bold style. We already, in my opinion, have a lot of things in that style. Kind of like cats and dogs, laundry day, a style like that. It's not really my personal style. I prefer more modern things. But still, so I'm really... I'm willing to give it a shot and i'm thinking that we'll probably be getting a new world with it if we get a like country themed pack we'll probably definitely need a new world for it because none of the worlds that we have really fit with that theme so we'll probably be getting a new world and i'm really excited to see that and then i saw someone i believe it was avalyn on twitter she mentioned that but will there be sheep that was her like only question and she's that's a really good point will they be adding sheep will they be, will they be adding cows chickens pigs other farm animals will they be adding horses i'm i know a lot of people want horses that's one of the biggest reasons why some people want a farming pack is because they think they will get horses with it so that's a really good point to make i mean how will they do that will they be giving us all of those animals or will they be doing it in the way they did cats and dogs where they like give us two animals even though it's kind of a pack that's supposed to have all of them because where else would you add something like a sheep <laughs> if they don't add stuff like sheep and pigs and like chickens to a farming pack where would they add it i mean that just doesn't really make sense to me so yeah would be we would be would we wow i can't speak <laughs> Would be, we be getting all of those animals or would be, would it just be like a scaled down version of it? Would they be functional? Would they actually like serve a purpose? Like would our sims actually be able to go, go into like the chicken coop and get eggs or something to cook with? Would they be able to sell stuff that they get from the animals? And then how realistic would that be? Like would we quote unquote have to like send our animals off like into a rabbit hole to be slaughtered? 
like would it be that that realistic even though we don't see anything obviously it won't be graphic or anything because it is the sims but i don't really like the idea of that i don't really like the idea of using the animals for stuff like that it's just not something that i'm interested in at all but i would be interested in a bunch of new harvestables and crops and expanding on that on the like gardening system in the game that i would be really interested in seeing them expand on but i just don't see how they would be able to use like sheep i mean you get you can use sheep for wool and stuff that makes sense and i mean like chickens for eggs and stuff like that so that makes sense to me like milk from cows and i just i'm just wondering about how they would implement all of that stuff how like interactive and stuff like that it would be would it be like <laughs> our sims go into this big building and just disappear and we won't be able to get to see any of it will the cows and animals actually roam around in their pens would we be, be able to interact with them that's the stuff that I'm thinking about and honestly my hope isn't really my hopes aren't really high for stuff like that I mean I just I can't see them putting that much into an expansion because it is a lot it's a lot especially considering how they've done expansions in the past and then I'm also thinking, would our Sims be able to make a living off of farming? Would they have a career that's like a farmer career? Or would they have like other careers as well, like an equestrian career if we do end up getting horses? Or would they be able to make, become like a farmhand or, you know, stuff like that. I'm, those are all of the things that I immediately think about. And personally, I don't, I just don't see how they would be able to fit all of that into a farming pack. And then also, I'm also thinking that if they don't fit all of that into a single farming pack, would the pack still be, like, fun and not feel watered down, if that makes sense? Because that's the biggest thing that seems to be happening with a lot of the expansion packs. A lot of the stuff does feel watered down, a lot of the gameplay stuff. And that's not, that's not me, like, ragging on The Sims 4 by any means. I love The Sims 4. It's probably my favorite Sims game. I mean, The Sims 2 is it's really fighting for that top spot, like that top spot, but yeah, The Sims 4 is probably one of my all-time favorite games. So, it's not me like ragging on the game. It's just uh, it's a sad fact. Some of the like expansions have been really lackluster when it comes to gameplay. They put a lot of attention into build mode and create a sim. And the worlds, the worlds are always stunning. So if we do end up getting a new world, I know it will be beautiful. And yeah, that's just my biggest thing with will they be able to fit in enough gameplay into a single pack to make the full farming experience worthwhile? Because I can't see them making more than one <laughs> farming oriented pack. I can't see them like putting horses and like pigs and goats or like let's just say horses cows and chickens for example i can't see them putting like three animals in this pack and then doing another pack down the line where they add others that all like go hand in hand with this like farming idea because that would be kind of around the same thing that my first pet stuff was with cats and dogs and we all know how that turned out that was an epic fail honestly i think personally considering how the community reacted to it that was an epic fail so i don't see them doing that again so yeah that's just what i was thinking about but let me know if you guys are excited for this if you hope this is true if you're if you don't hope this is true if you know you don't care about a farming pack at all or if you're like me and you're just waiting to see what happens if you're just waiting to see you know maybe this will be great maybe this will be something that i absolutely love or maybe this is something that's just not for me let me know what you guys are thinking about that and like i said none of this is confirmed this could all come out tomorrow to be totally fake and we would all feel like idiots if that happened but yeah let me know what you guys think and let me know what are some of your biggest wishes for the sims 4 what do you what are some packs that you really want to see in the game and some things that you would like to see brought into the game? Whether that's something from previous Sims games or whether it's something completely new that they've never done. 
let me know all of that down in the comments below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more sims content feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever i upload a new video but yeah i hope you guys are all having an absolutely great day and that your week has started off great and i will talk to you on my very next video bye guys <laughs>